What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and boy am I happy to make this video. So today, the jailbreak for iOS 8.1.1 was released by a Chinese developer and their group called Taiji. So Taiji was involved in the iOS 7 evaders on Tether jailbreak, so they are a trusted company, although throughout this video you'll notice that it's kind of sketchy, although it is a perfectly functioning, working iOS 8.1.1 on Tether jailbreak. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 6 Plus, 6, 5S, 5C, 5, 4S, iPad Air 2, iPad Air 1, all the minis, the 4, 3, 2, and the iPod Touch 5th generation untethered on the latest iOS 8.1.1 firmware. That's right. I did tell you guys it was very unlikely we would see a jailbreak on iOS 8.1.1, so this doesn't really make sense to me. I was waiting for one on iOS 8.2, but this jailbreak will support iOS 8.1.1, 8.1, 8.0.2, 8.0 even the new iOS 8.2 beta. I don't know if it'll work on the final release. I doubt it. However, this does work on the latest iOS 8.1.1. So there are a couple of things I want to discuss before this. First off, this is only available for Windows. If you want to run it on Mac, you can do that using the virtual machine application. Other than that, there is no official support for Mac yet. So go and find a Windows computer before attempting to do this. Otherwise, it does support Windows 7, Windows 8. I'm on 8.1. It works just fine. And it is a very stable jailbreak. It's a one click process, no SSHing necessary. It's a very simple ADB process and I'll be showing you guys the entire thing. Now I want you guys to do a couple things for me. First off, go into settings, go into general, go into about, and if you guys are not an 8.1.1, I want you guys to update and do that via iTunes. Do not update from here. This is gonna mess with the jailbreak. Go into iTunes and update to 8.1.1 from iTunes. Now, if you guys already updated to 8.1.1 from here, you know, there's a chance it'll work there's a chance it won't. So some of you guys might need to restore via iTunes if it doesn't work. Otherwise, you should be good. So with that being done, there's one more thing in here. In Touch ID and Passcode, remove any passcode you have set on your device and any Touch ID, just remove that because it does interfere with the jailbreak. And also, if you guys are signed into iCloud, you don't need to sign out of that. This doesn't interfere with this jailbreak. It actually works better if you're signed in and I have no idea why. Otherwise, you do need Wi-Fi on both devices, the iPhone and the computer you're going to be on because it just does help. Now I have tested this on several devices and I gotta say it works flawlessly. I wasn't able to encounter any sort of issues, whereas Pangu, many people were having issues right away. With Taiji, you know, this jailbreak is literally flawless. It just works great. It's a one-click jailbreak and I haven't been able to encounter any issues. However, I want you guys to go ahead and go into iTunes and back up all of your data to a local backup on your iTunes computer. Don't do it over iCloud. For some reason, iCloud has some issues and I don't know why. For me, I don't get all of my stuff back. So back up your device via iTunes on local backup and then perform this jailbreak. Even though I haven't encountered any issues, you never know. You just want to be prepared for the worst. So make sure to back up all of your data and you guys should be good. Oh, and iOS 8.2 and 8.1.2 could be on the horizon very soon. So of course, after performing this jailbreak, I just want to warn you guys, do not update because as soon as you update, your jailbreak will disappear and who knows what the support will be for the newer firmwares. Maybe some of these exploits you in this jailbreak will be patched and it'll become near impossible or it'll just take a while and of course you guys want to keep your jailbreak you want to keep all those cool things that you can do on your device so make sure not to upgrade when ios 8.1.2 or 8.2 will be released and let's go ahead and head over to our computer okay so now that we're on the computer you guys will need to download one thing and that's the taiji jailbreak i know it looks a little bit sketchy but trust me i have tested this and it has been confirmed by muscle nerd he's very well known in the jailbreak community and he has tested this and said it is okay. So anyways, once you guys do have that downloaded, I'll actually have download links right here. You can click on this annotation right here, or there'll be another link down below in the description so you can get the full tutorial and troubleshooting guide and the actual download link there. Anyways, right click on it, select run as administrator, and on this user control, select yes. Okay, and now we're gonna get this. It's all in Chinese, there's no English support yet, and it doesn't see my iPhone right now, so I'm just gonna unplug it. And hopefully in a second here, it should recognize it. Okay, and there's my device. So sometimes it does take a little bit to find your device. It took me about a minute. But anyways, as you guys can see, it's all in Chinese. Nothing is legible. And you see it does install the latest Cydia right there. And this is to install their app store. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. 
I don't want any third-party applications installed. And, you know, this is so strange that a third-party Chinese, you know, developer team would release this out of nowhere. I mean, it's exciting. I do hope that this in no way interferes with the next iOS 8.2 jailbreak. I hope that they didn't leak the exploit that was going to be used for it. Anyways, so in here, as you guys can see, I have my six plugged in. You know, that's all we need to do. Go ahead and click on this green button right here and it'll begin to jailbreak. So at any point during this video, if your device reboots, that's perfectly fine. Make sure not to unplug it, don't touch it. You know, just leave it all alone and the jailbreak will complete successfully. Now, a lot of people ask me, is jailbreaking dangerous? And the truth is no. I mean, it's been made so safe lately, especially in 8.1, it's been optimized very well. It's been updated for the larger displays of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, and the amount of tweaks and third-party applications that have come out for it are just simply incredible. There's so much for it. And I have many videos showcasing that, so you can check out many of my other videos to see what you could do after jailbreaking your device. It's very safe, but unfortunately, it does void warranty. So if you come into the Apple store and Apple sees that you are jailbroken, they will refuse service to you. So whenever going into the Apple store, you guys want to make sure to restore your device. Don't just simply erase Cydia. You actually need to fully restore your device and then Apple will never be able to tell that you have been jailbroken before and they will do any service that you ask. Anyways, so now that we do restart, as you guys can see, I have Cydia right there now. So let's go ahead and click on that guy and it will set up. So this does take a couple minutes, you know, don't touch anything, leave it. But I'm so impressed. Wow, 8.1.1 and I'm running Cydia. So I do recommend that you guys update to 8.1.1 because, you know, why not? You're going to be enjoying all of the latest fixes, the Wi-Fi fix and all of that good stuff while maintaining a jailbreak. And that's great. So I don't see why not. And all my old tweak videos, they will be supported on iOS 8.1.1. There's literally no difference when it comes to Cydia. Everything works just as fine. So there's no reason not to do this. And if you guys want to know what you can do with jailbreaking, if you're new to it, just for example, I have this one little tweak running on my iPhone in the background. It's called Weatherboard and it actually shows your current weather where you're located in the background of your device and you can actually set it to whatever you want as well as you can see i'm not actually in the middle of a thunderstorm right now but it looks so cool and this tweak in particular works on the lock screen and on the springboard and there are so many possibilities it's insane i mean if you guys want to check out more of those videos click on the annotations at the end of this video it'll take you to them and they're all current they will support ios 8.1.1 and guys i'm so impressed with what the developers have been up to on ios 8 i mean there are been so many new tweaks and updates to old ones it's just huge the support for the ios 8 jailbreak anyways in the moment here this will finish up and we should have a working cydia all right so my device has resprung and now as you guys can see i do have cydia right here so guys the first thing you want to do is go into changes hit refresh and actually update anything that cydia asks you for you want to make sure you're on the latest version but otherwise i can't tell you anything that's wrong with this it works just as ios 8.1 pangu jailbreak did there's no difference it's just as stable and it supports all the tweaks there's literally no reason not to do this now, if for some reason you guys were not able to jailbreak, there's a few things you can do. First off, check the article down below in the description. It'll have a full troubleshooting guide and, you know, just some general tips. First off, restart your iPhone. If you were unable to get this working, restart your iPhone and your computer. You know, that usually fixes most issues. If not, then it could be an issue with you updating to iOS 8.1.1 from your device. Worst case scenario, restore your iPhone. But before that, I would try this jailbreak on another computer. Sometimes just a simple little thing like that does help. So try it on another computer, restart your iPhone and your computer, and it should work for you. Now make sure you are running the program as administrator. And if for some reason you're not an administrator, that could be why you're not actually able to jailbreak. So if you're not able to get it working just from those little tips, check out the guide down below. It'll help you guys out as well. But otherwise, you should have a working Cydia on your iOS 8.1.1 device. And real quick, I just want to show you guys, I am running the latest 8.1.1 firmware and I am jailbroken. So this is great, guys. I'm so impressed. That's just great that we have developers that actually care and release jailbreaks. And I'm impressed. I thought that after iOS 8, jailbreaks would become near impossible to find, but apparently that's not the case. And I'm so grateful for that. So anyways, I want you guys to check out all of these videos to see what you guys can do on your jailbreak after jailbreaking on iOS 8.1 or 8.1.1. There's a ton of things. If you don't like one thing, there are so many others. I mean, the possibilities are limitless. Anyways, guys, so I do hope you have been able to jailbreak on iOS 8.1.1. It's a very simple process, you know, just a one click. 
Again, if for some reason you were unable to jailbreak, check out the link down below. It'll have a full guide helping you how to do that. And check out my channel, subscribe. I'm always posting new things about you know tweaks, applications for jailbroken devices. And guys, enjoy the jailbreak. Enjoy all the cool things you can do with your free device now. Have a great day. Peace.